So, this will be partly Hebrew, partly English, because honestly, it's about Israel, however, it has a, it is a part of a larger global context. So, I'll begin with the Hebrew. Aya Napa Kaflisin. כן, או שכבר ידעתי מלכתחילה, התברר שהיא שקרנית. למה? כי אז שמעתי על זה כבר עברו כמה ימים. אבל הנה הבעיה האמיתית. כן, אני הייתי באינטרנט האמריקאי, אירופה, כל זה, אני ראיתי את הדוגמאות לפני ולפני ולפני, אז ידעתי מה סבר שיקרה. אבל אני דיברתי עם הרבה אנשים גם באינטרנט וקצת בעולם אמיתי שדי נטו ישר להרשיע אותם. אתם לא מבינים שהתנהגות מהסוג הזה הופכת את הפשע עצמו של אונס לפחות נורא? יתרה מזאת, זה הופך את ההאשמה באונס לנשק? אתם באמת רוצים להיות, לחיות בעולם שבו ההאשמה של מישהו באונס או אפילו המעשה עצמו הם לא דבר שלמישהו באמת אכפת ממנו? כי אתם מקדמים אותנו לשם. Now English. Now in the Hebrew, I was basically referring to a recent Ayanapa in Cyprus case of alleged and now proven false case of a gang rape by seven uh, Jewish uh, Israeli uh, youths. Uh, on a, to a, accused by, that's right, accused by, a British woman, a British woman. Now, why? In the Hebrew, I said that I basically knew what would happen because this is what happens in those cases. It turns out to be false. especially when it takes so many days to find out the conclusion. Because if, if it is real, they know basically within two days. I've heard about it two days and there was nothing else about it other than speculations and doubts by the, by the, in the investigation team. So, to my Israeli brethren and anyone else, if you're going to just believe the victim, you turn accusation into a weapon. As such, people begin to know that they probably didn't do it. And if it's not that bad they can just accuse someone willy-nilly about it, then you're probably not going to be all that worked out about it. I.e. Rape becomes less than mundane. It becomes a who give a fuck about. And I don't think we want to live in that world. Now, now I will discuss my speculation about her motives. I have no idea. Seriously, why would you want to do it to them? I mean, the physical evidence said that what she, ha what she's, what she said happened did not happen. I.e., there was no sex. Or whatever sex was there. was not one that really involved them. So why make up the story? Seriously, this was not a thing of consent or not consent. This was at all. Happened at all. And it didn't. <sighs> was this another case of anti-Semitism? Anti-Zionism? Because it doesn't paint you guys, those who has those opinions, to look any more sane. If we're not going to... The investigation was false, they blah 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 blah. The Jews made the blah blah blah. It will not make you look good. All it will do is make you show your ass more. Please do so, by the way. See, this way, you lot, those who have your opinions and do know about it, which is basically any adult, 
those people will be less likely to have children. Thus, those who are left will have them and the world will normalize. Now, why did I say that? You see, when you are invested in a belief that you know damn well to be false, you lose faith and esteem and esteem in yourself and if that is connected to your entire group and this is your esteem in your group is reduces and that means and that means that you will not want to have children people want to have children when they believe that the group they are part of is worthy of propagation and that they are themselves are worthy of being parents so 